negativity is a common part of life. Whether it comes from external sources or creeps up from within, learning how to ignore negativity is a crucial skill for maintaining mental well-being and achieving personal growth. Negativity can hinder progress, damage relationships, and rob you of happiness. This video, presented to you by author Tanya Renee Anderson, will explore strategies to help you rise above negativity and foster a more positive outlook on life. First step, self-awareness. The first step in ignoring negativity is self-awareness. Recognize when negativity is taking hold of your thoughts or emotions. Pay attention to the patterns and triggers that lead to negative thinking. By acknowledging negativity, you gain the power to address it effectively. Second step, reframe your perspective. Negativity often arises from a skewed perspective. Instead of dwelling on the negative aspects of a situation, try to reframe your thoughts. Focus on the silver lining, opportunities for growth, or the lessons to be learned. Shifting your perspective can turn a negative experience into a valuable one. Third step, practice mindfulness. Mindfulness is a powerful tool for managing negativity. By staying present in the moment, you can prevent negative thoughts from spiraling out of control. Mindfulness meditation, deep breathing exercises, or simply paying attention to your surroundings can help you stay grounded and centered. Fourth step, exposure to negativity. You have control over what you expose yourself to. If certain people, news, or social media platforms consistently bring negativity into your life, it may be time to limit or cut off contact with them. Surround yourself with positivity and people who uplift and inspire you. Fifth step, set boundaries. Establishing boundaries is essential for protecting your mental well-being. Learn to say no when necessary and don't feel obligated to engage in conversations or situations that breed negativity. Setting healthy boundaries allows you to maintain your emotional equilibrium. Sixth step, practice positive affirmations. Positive affirmations are simple yet effective tools for combating negativity. Repeating positive statements about yourself and your abilities can reprogram your subconscious mind to focus on your strengths and potential. Over time, this can boost your confidence and reduce negativity. Seventh step, cultivate gratitude. Gratitude is a powerful antidote to negativity. Regularly reflect on the things you are grateful for, no matter how small they may seem. This practice shifts your focus away from what's lacking in your life and towards the abundance that surrounds you. Eighth step, seek support. Don't be afraid to reach out to friends, family, or a therapist when negativity becomes overwhelming. Talking about your feelings can provide valuable insights and emotional relief. Sometimes, sharing your thoughts and concerns can help you see things from a different perspective. Ninth step, set goals and stay motivated. Setting and working towards personal goals can keep you focused on the positive aspects of life. When you have a clear sense of purpose, negativity tends to lose its grip. Celebrate your achievements no matter how small, as they provide a continuous source of motivation. Tenth step, embrace failure as a learning opportunity. Negativity often arises from fear of failure. Instead of letting failure bring you down, view it as a chance to learn and grow. Every setback is a stepping stone on your path to success. Embracing failure with a positive attitude can help you build resilience. In conclusion, ignoring negativity is not about denying its existence, but rather choosing not to let it control your life. By practicing self-awareness, reframing your perspective and adopting positive habits, you can cultivate resilience and maintain a positive outlook. Remember that it takes time and effort to overcome negativity, but the rewards in terms of improved mental well-being and personal growth are well worth it.